Hey guys, how's it going? Dutchman Games here, and today we are back in the RPG game project. Uh, in the last episode, we worked on making a system where you can drop and pick up weapons. But for now, let's uh, work on the third spell, because we still have an ability that uh, does not work yet, which is the third one. Uh, we have the healing ability, we have the second ability that we need to be level 3 to cast, and then we will have a third ability, which will be a teleportation ability. So this will allow the character to teleport from here to the other side of the map, or maybe just a short distance. So let's open up our character. Um, in this case, we'll go to third person character. And um, in here, we're going to need to be able to use the uh, third ability, essentially. So here we have the first one, which is the healing ability. Here's the second one, which is the fire blast ability. Now we're going to add the third one. So we're going to look up input three, and then we'll find it right there. And then uh, obviously we can also turn these into actual inputs into the project settings. All right, so what we need to do now is we're going to make a branch. And we're basically going to copy what's down here. So the current level, you need to be a set level for this, let's say level five. Right, and if you're not level 5, then we can copy this whole thing here down below as well. Because if you're not level 5, then um, it will say level 5 is required to cast this spell. Alright, that's that's step 1. And now we need to know, uh, to need to do the teleportation thing. So for now we uh, have to grab the two ones and all the branches that go with it. So are we attacking? Are we dead? Are we healing? Or do we have enough mana? All that stuff. And then are we casting fireball or are we casting healing? And so we need to grab all of these. And then we can just copy these over. So for the people who are watching uh, and don't have all this stuff already done. Essentially what I'm doing is I'm casting a do once so that it will only happen once and then it will look if if it is it attacking is it dead uh, is it healing is your current mana now let's say uh, 20 mana for teleportation and then then it's also looking are you using uh, f uh, fire blast and healing because this basically uh, makes the animation do its thing and we want to use the same animation and then for here uh, it also from the from the false or sorry from the through so let's say it is attacking it will go back to the do once reset otherwise uh, it, it will not happen uh, a second time so now what we need to do is we need to make the teleportation logic and then also we have to make another one cooldown uh, value and um, the way we're going to do that is we're just going to copy the cooldown value again so make cooldown value or cooldown three value and then make that a float and then we're going to copy that and then we're, this one we're going to call max and then um, this should always be a hundred i believe or zero to a hundred so the max is a hundred and then um, we're just going to copy this as well um, so and that would be I get the cooldown working and then we can just change these to the actual values we want it to be I don't know why I did that I don't know why I added it there we go and all right and then the mana that goes down is uh, 20 I think was the mana that it cost alright so now we'll set the value to 101 and uh, now we will go to the UI uh, or yeah here and then we will look on how this was already set up just just as a refresher so it's just the per percentage setup right here so we're just gonna copy that over and then go to this one and then create binding for re for the uh, reset 
and then pump it in there and then this one these two have to be the third value right so value 3 or 3 value and then we have uh, get cooldown 3 value and then 3 value get cooldown 3 value max in that one and then in here there's a automatic system that uh, the cooldown system you know that takes some off and then there will also be a for the cooldown so let's uh, make another one and we can just copy these whole cooldown systems cooldown 3 system and then cooldown changes to cooldown 3 value change this to cooldown 3 value and uh, change this to cooldown 3 value as well oh god Okay, and then this actual cooldown timer, which we can adjust later. Uh, for now, we just need this to work. So what we're doing here is we are setting a do once again. We're going to branch. We're going to look if the cooldown is above, equal or above uh, 1.0. Um, the cooldown will, if it is 1.0, it has to decrease, right? It has to decrease to zero, and this is the rate in which it decreases. Uh, per second or per half a second actually so it will actually go quite fast um, and uh, if, if it is if it is one or, or lower um, or, or equal a one or more it will you know keep going down if it is uh, below one it will not do anything and then it will just stay the way it is um, so that's the simple system here and then I think that is it for that logic and then we need to do the actual teleportation all right so now we have to make the teleporter system now the way we're going to do that is we're going to add a sound 2d in this case uh, we could just make uh, the alvin arrow hit and then we will make a teleport and then we need location teleport too now there's two ways you can do this. Well, there's a million ways you can do this, but there's a few ways you can do this. You can add math, and then make like a you know, make a system where it it decides the teleport location based on where you're looking at, and based on your speed and all that stuff. Or we can do something very simple, which is we'll just get actor rotation, and then we'll go to the viewport of the actor. We'll add a static mesh. So add a static mesh, um, set in collision. So first of all, clear this. There's no no mesh. Move the static mesh all the way to let's make it 800 or something. And then go to collision. Make sure it does not generate events and there's no collision and mm, you cannot step on this. So this is basically nothing. And then call it tele location and then what we do is we'll just simply get the teleport location and then get world location and then we'll just teleport to that only downside of this would be that it's part of the character so if there's a trigger event this might trigger it but I think because generate overlap event is off it should not trigger anything so think we're safe there but that's the only caveat to this uh, now it will just teleport us to where we want to go um, there also has to be a very small delay here for the animation and then there has to be a delay of 7.5 for the uh, teleportation so we're now in a test map you see there's our cliff Walk past it, and we'll teleport there. So now, when we want to teleport back, uh, we have to turn our character and teleport back. So depending on where your character is wa uh, walking to, it will teleport you. So not depending on where the mouse is uh, located, which actually 
is probably a lot more fun, right? So let's add it to the camera boom. That way it will teleport you based on what you're looking at. Which is a lot more a lot more uh, fun, I think. I think it adds a lot more. So for example, if I'm now running this way and I want to go there, it'll teleport me that way. And it will only teleport you a very short distance because the camera boom is further from the character than the character itself. So it can actually add can actually throw this very far. And this way you can do things like this. You can do back teleports or something like that. So okay, we have our third skill. So we have our healing skill, we have our explosion skill, which we need to be level three, and we have our teleportation skill. Which uh yeah, I think we'll add some gameplay for that, and obviously we still have to add like magic effects and all that stuff, but now that, that is all set up, and uh, maybe it has to be a little further even, and now we, now that works, so let me turn the level requirement back, I think I'm going to make it uh, also, uh, make it a level for a level requirement or something. So level four is required to use the spell. And now this all works. So we have a cooldown system and all that good stuff. So spell three, teleport. All right, so what do we have in total? We have a main UI with a health bar mana bar level system three abilities we can use with cooldowns attached to these abilities um, and we have a inventory system with a talent system and all that good stuff now in the next episode and this time I'll actually do it I will finish the inventory system and the talent system myself um, unless you guys want me to show it to you guys, but you already know how the system works, and I just want to uh, finish everything off so that we have a full talent system which works. Um, it already works, but obviously, uh, you know, with all the talents and all this logic, it, it's gonna take hours to make, so I want to just do it um, fast. Uh, off camera, but if you guys want to see it, see it, let me know. Uh, but then the, you know, the, <laughs> the uh, series might be uh, ten episodes longer. But let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see that. Uh, other than that, I'm gonna have the, all this uh, finished, and then we can work on the enemy system. So the AI, um, and the MP you know, the NPCs and the enemies that we might encounter, uh, which will also be meshy. Uh, models and uh, yeah it's gonna be pretty cool hope you guys uh, enjoyed this episode and leave a like and subscribe if you did and I'll see you guys in the next one cheers